what's going on everyone it is Chris and welcome back to once again another exciting thrilling and slightly moist episode of the survivor podcast with my good friend Bill Cup 7-Eleven I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say the slightly <laughs> moist said it all <laughs> It, it perfectly describes this podcast. Anyways, welcome back uh, to the Survivor Podcast. Uh, so we're going to we're going to go through episode three. We are now three weeks into this very tremendous, uh, pretty good season, I would say. Pretty, yeah, pretty good. Not, not bad, not bad, not bad thus far. Uh, of course, the drama is going through the roof in all three tribes. So let's dive. Totally. Let's dive Just, right into. Did you see what I did there? To, what we say again? The 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 drama's going through the roof, and I said totally. I don't get to, it. To, total drama. God damn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, cartoon. <laughs> that is cartoon. What? How long ago was that, man? That was fucking two thousand seven, dude. Oh my god! No, two thousand eight, but still. That that was like in seventh grade, sixth grade. Yep. Crazy. Yep. yep. All right. Yep. Anyways, guys, yep. let's move on. Yep. <laughs> Coco's can't believe it. All right, so uh, last We're fucking week, old dude. <laughs> we are. We really are. I'm twenty. I that is insane to me, and I'm gonna be twenty later this year. Uh, last week, uh, Alicia's uh, embryo burst into flames. Uh, kerosene started a brainy explosion, and Jennifer's stand-up act bombed. Uh, she and she was sent home. So oh, because she stood up to yep, do the yeah, do her shitty speech. Good job, Gordon. I, I I seriously hope that he he comes across these videos and doesn't mind the fact that we use his recaps to get this. <laughs> I'm too lazy to take notes. I want to enjoy the program, man. Yeah. Um. All right. So things start off at Totang, where Scott admits that he voted for Alicia, which. By the way, why? <laughs> like, yep. What, 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 what's the point of doing that? I, there is none. Like, like you could, like I, I think it would probably you could have had her wondering that the the bounty hunter did it. Don't I don't get that at all. Um, but anyways, uh, he says that he did it because he had promised to never ever vote for Jennifer because. You know, Even though she was going home anyway. What? Yeah, when she was going home anyway, and two, she like basically lied right in front of your faces, or, or, or basically said that she was flipping right in front of your faces. So it's like, what the hell? Yeah. Um. So then Alicia does the right thing. She pretends to be cool, uh, but of course she's annoyed, and then she didn't tell Sydney that Scott should go next because he is the former NBA, NBA star. It probably has a lot of money. And that's a common argument in the Survivor. We did talk about this in our preemptive uh, episode of this podcast. Yeah. It, why, why does the money matter? I get that there, I get there's a cash there is, prize. There is a cash prize at the end. There is a cash prize at the end, but the, is the, does the experience not even matter? Like people come here to, to or go participate in survivor yes for the money but also to in, actually play the game and enjoy your time there so i i get it i i get where the where people are like well he's rich so why is he on the show where we're gonna win money well he just wants to play the game he wants to see if he can win it yeah that's that's how i see it damn it uh but anyway so at least Alicia complains to Sydney, and Sydney immediately rats her out to the guys, so you see where her loyalties are. Um, so over at Gondol, uh, the Grundle, uh, Ty is running around. The Girdle. <laughs> the Girdle. It, it, Ty is I don't know around. where that came from. But... <laughs> it's, all, it's all the same thing. Yep. Uh, Ty is running around in his Jeff Winger-esque stripey undies. Uh, and in mm, crafty bad Jeff, imagery. Yeah, in crafty Jeff Winger fashion, uh, he creates a long pole to try to retrieve the key. So instead of like climbing up and like destroying, yeah, because he 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 lost the other tool that he was that he like had to use to. That's to get right. It. That is right. They actually gave it to him, and he uh, he completely lost it. 
Uh, but good on him for actually being able to achieve it. That, and the whole time when I was watching that whole scene unfold, I was like on the edge of like uh, of my seat because I, I I could not. I, I like I that was, I was that was cool though that he was able to put that together. Oh yeah, I was I was worried that the beauty tribe would be like, "Where's Ty?" and then go looking for him. Yeah, and then, like I, and I thought that all hell was going to be for him. But they didn't. But they didn't. So what they ends didn't. up happening? Uh, is that he pokes away at the contraption and manages to retrieve, retrieve the key, and he locks the chest and retrieves the idol. Way to go, Ty, but... Go, Cubs. What is in the, this chest with the idol? It's a clue. Not a clue. It's a note that says, <laughs> hey, idiot, if you combine this idol, not an idiot, but, you know, uh, if you combine this idol with another idol, you get to make a super idol. And that can override any vote at a tribal council Boo. after they've been read. Boo. Like I said, they were going to tell them about it. <laughs> you didn't think they would, I was, but they did. I know. I, I really... Why I, the fuck wouldn't they tell them, you idiot? <laughs> that idiot was at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look, I didn't know for sure. Like, I, I thought that they... That they it might have been dropped to them at some point. Uh, if they like, I felt like it's, they would have to figure it out for themselves. But how would they have known? I don't though? know. Who knows? But I would think that maybe they they, was... they wouldn't introduce a new twist just to be like, "Yo, you have no idea how to use this. <laughs> Sucks for you." <laughs> I not even know. that. They would they just be like, "Hey." Like at the end of the season, they they they'd be like, "Hey, did you know that you could do this?" And they're like, "No, you didn't tell us. <laughs> How are we supposed to know? I, How yeah. would they have been supposed to know?" I don't, yeah, I don't know where I where we're coming from with that. You can't you can't <laughs> defend your side of the argument. Yeah, I can't. I, don't know. <laughs> I can't. I I don't know. I just I I I, I was shocked, but I get it. I get it. I understand. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm being an ass right <laughs> no, now. No, no. Is, is well deserved. Is fine. So, yes. <laughs> the uh, It comes with instructions so that you put it together and it becomes a super aisle. So, I am wondering that if there could potentially be a second idol at this camp, or if this is gonna really, if this could happen at the merge specifically. That, that's that, I think that's the only other question. That, oh, yeah, that's true. That I would have for this twist is can another beauty go out, find an idol, and then team up with Ty, or will Ty have to team up with someone else that gets the idol? We will talk more about that a little later on. That's so, why I think there's going to be a, a uh, tribe tribe swap soon. I yeah, I would think so. Why why not? I mean, they, yeah, because like then well now now two people have idols. Right. Well, on we'll talk tribe. So if they somehow end up on the same tribe, yeah. Well, we'll talk. We'll talk about the second group in a second because that was very interesting. Uh, that uh, I think that's what's gonna probably end up happening. I can see Survivor. I know what they usually do is do a random draw, but I can absolutely see them uh, see Survivor trying to do a tribe switch, but try to purposely put Ty and whoever gets the second idol together on the same tribe yeah so who knows who knows what will happen in that uh it, it's great though so anyways back at uh at the brains tribe uh peter and liz are now uh making fun of joe as he does his morning exercises because that's that's such a good thing right um yep so then the pa- peter then breaks down the tribe dynamics as a as himself and Liz, Neil and Aubrey, and then Joe and Debbie, all in their own little groups. Uh, but instead of going after the, the two that have been pissing off everyone, which have been Joe and Debbie, they want to go after Aubrey and Neil. Well, of course. Because you want to bring Debbie and Joe to the end. Because yep. they're the annoying ones. Meanwhile... So you're uh, not going to vote for idiots. Right, exactly. Meanwhile, Debbie thinks uh, that Peter is a challenge asset, and Liz is worthless. Worthless. Uh, so she approaches Neil and Aubrey with her plan to boot Liz, and it seems like they are very, very into it. So that's a, if they, of course, lose. Then... Foreshadowing. Debbie, <laughs> Debbie tells us uh, about how she's been 
flying under the radar, which not really. You're basically telling people what to do, but you know, you, you believe what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. De Debbie's definitely a special snowflake for sure. Oh my god, I fucking hate Debbie. <laughs> During the show, my dad texts me, Debbie, top 10 whack jobs. <laughs> Survivor history. <laughs> for sure. For sure, up there. I I would not surpass her uh, like ahead of Philip, but she's up oh, there. Oh no, definitely not. <laughs> that's, that's a hard bar to, to climb, over. Up, climb over. <laughs> um, that sounds like something that Philip would say. That is, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when I was in the war, I went over many bars. Uh, so at Beauty Beach, then, uh, Beast Mode is preparing to Former vote. Former special agent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at, B at Beauty Beach, Be Beast Mode is preparing to vote a chicken out of the game. He's going to try to kill it. He's going to try to cook it. And This part made me sad. And it's high jokes about uh, releasing them, but it's probably the same kind of joking with it. Where a guy, he, he, he's really just trying to hold in his feelings. He's really like he's really just like he's yeah. Ty is not okay keep it together. with this happening. Uh, Ty, uh, very much a hippie, one with nature, and I I, I, I like that lifestyle that Ty lives. So I understand. Uh, he would be to... a no collar. He, yeah, he, he, absolutely, oh my god, back to, back to last year's season, yeah. um, so, Shit, that was our first predict season, that was, that was spring of 2015, yep, there you go, uh, so long ago, uh, so then, essentially, right, they make Ty actually hold the chicken as he, as it gets killed, and they 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 see they show the motion of them like chopping the head off, uh, they are actually showing the graphically. And, but you, you, then Ty obviously gets so so upset about the whole thing, uh, not like screaming upset or anything, but he does he tears start running down his face like he gets like quite emotional. Um, mm. Later, a a Anna tells Kayla that the, the girls are solid. Uh, well, actually, I feel like this kind of skipped the part. So then, essentially, everyone's really feeling bad for uh, Ty, and it, it's it, it, they're like, "Yeah, it, he this is this is hard for him because he cares a lot about animals." Nick's over there sitting there, like, "What the fuck, guys? What what the fuck? This is not. I mean, I don't really. You have to leave your emotions at the door. I mean, because you know, I'm a fucking robot. You know, you know, I'm a, I'm a robot. I have no f emotions or feelings or any sort of feel, any sort of like inner body that can actually have feelings for someone. So this this doesn't usually apply to the Survivor, but uh, a lot of times when I'm like reading stories or like judging like a group of characters on something, I always try to judge what I call the shadow, the hedgehog of the group. <laughs> I love that so much because I just stopped, just started rewatching all the Sonic Let's Plays from like Game Drugs and everything. <laughs> so now I'm just thinking about like Shadow just showing up, up out of nowhere and then kind of just fading into the back. Like, like he just he just shows up in this podcast and then he's just gonna go away. We don't know where he goes. No, but what I mean by that is just the. <laughs> The the just you know the like a lot of stories have that character that's just unnecessarily dark and edgy for no reason. Oh, absolutely! I know what you mean by that. It's just really funny. I like the comparison. <laughs> um, so yeah, Nick Nick is our is our Shadow the Hedgehog. I call him Shadow the Hedgehog throughout the rest of this podcast. Uh, Good. This is great. Um, Can you so... make the thumbnail a picture of him? <laughs> if I like... remember, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll try. Um, so, I might work on that tonight, trying to like <laughs> make him look like Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I probably just put I'll put his head on the on Nick's body and we'll okay. call it a day. Um, so yeah, Nick is a dick essentially, we, we, and he's he's just kind of like not caring about Ty. So Anna knows this. Anna kind of reads Nick and is like, "What the? You really? You're 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 no one is is gonna trust you if you act like that." So Anna tells Caleb that the girls are solid, and that no one let no one really trusts Nick. Maybe no one likes him either, but no one trusts Nick at least. And Caleb is basically like, "Well, 
I mean, if if they're if they're gonna try to get out Nick, at least it's not me. So whatever. <laughs> it sounds like he's gonna join their side, which is I I thought it was very interesting. But hey, I I, mean, I, I think it's a good strategy. I don't know. It's because it, I guess you don't want to be a flip flopper, but you also want to be like you don't want to like go against what half of your tribe feels. Yeah. So. I see where he's coming from on that. So, back at uh, Casa de Bron, uh, Elisa finds the idle clue, but then she... This, this, hold on, first. Go ahead. This sequence of events is one of my favorites in idle, in idle events in Survivor history. Yeah, it, it really is insane. Continue. So, she immediately shares it with Sydney because that's a good idea. And while they're doing this, uh, Jason... Totally, just sees him, sees them doing it, and like he, 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 like he knows, like there's no way. So then, Sydney sends Alicia away, tries to get the high level for her, him, herself, but it's locked in this box. So back at camp, uh, Sydney tells the guys about the clue, and essentially get, giving away the information, so that way Alicia doesn't get away with the idol. So Sky and Jason. Uh, go to the tree to look for it, and Jason finds the clue, and he and Scott uh, use the, that that similar technique that Ty used uh, to retrieve the key. Uh, and then they, and basically, I, I don't know why this was left out of this uh, description here, but essentially, when they found out that when they when they found out they had to get get to this tree, uh, they. Alicia was already there, and they saw that that she needed to go get it. Uh, so she went to the tree. They both went to the tree, and they're all standing around this tree as Scott, the tall NBA player, is poking a stick at the tree. And Jason and Alicia, it was a very intense moment as both of them were watching as this uh, key to the idol was about to fall out of the tree. And essentially, as it gets poked out more and more, and then it falls out, and Jason like shoves Alicia out of the way, grabs yeah. grabs the key, and it, it's basically game over for Alicia. Well, like the thing is, is that after that they all start to look at it, and then Jason just starts fucking running. Yeah, he just starts running. It's, it, it's... And, then he, and then he meets up with Scott later. Oh yeah, that's right. And they have the whole sequence of like running around trying to figure out where the hell this uh, this clue is. They that that's when they find it in the tree, and that's when the whole poking of to the idol happens. It was really an insane moment because Alicia was like swimming in the in the ocean, and Scott and Jason. It, it, it was the moment where Sydney actually told them about the idol, and Scott and Jason got up, and Alicia knew right at that moment that they were going to go look for that idol, and. It, it really became like everyone like came together, read that the uh, the key was hidden somewhere on a tree. Everyone was searching everywhere. It was utter chaos, uh, or at least it was Scott and Jason read that it was on a tree, and then they tried to hide it away from Alicia and Sydney. Alicia and Sydney were kind of doing their own thing, and then Scott and Jason ended up finding the tree. Alicia found the tree, and they all went after it. They got the key, and. Uh, J Jason got the key specifically, mm. and he got the idol. So everyone knows that he has an idol now, and that, that's very interesting. If they go to tribal again, uh, ha like how that so that now they know that he's safe, but will he openly give that to Sky if Scott's in trouble, or will he give it to anyone for that matter? It'll be very interesting to see what happens with yep. that. And if the idol survives the merge with Ty's idol, can we have a bounty killer uh, and a hip, beauty hippie, lover hippie to, to come together with two idols and form the super idol? Who knows for sure? So find out next. No, yeah, no, we, no, we still have half the episode to go. We, 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 we and we have a <laughs> lot more episodes, so we find out if that happens. But, um, it, yeah, it, it was it was really an insane series of events. Uh, it, it 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 was really bad for Alicia because it was like she was about to find this idol, and then Sky Jason just completely wrecked her. Yeah. Um. So then the immunity challenge happens. Um. Uh, so, 
once again, it involves a boat. The players will swim towards a boat. Uh, one member from each team will climb into the boat and hand bags of rice to their teammates. They'll then have to work the bags through a small hole in the wall. That this that was really funny when they did that because you just see them like beating the shit out of it to try to get yeah. into the wall. Uh, from there, they'll go across the balcony beam, then dig through the bags for three balls, all the balls, and then the first two tribes to work all the all three balls through a vertical maze will win immunity. The first tribe will choose between cover items or personal emotional items. The second tribe will get what the first tribe didn't choose. And the loser gets someone gets negative one people right. added to their tribe. Right. Exactly. So they it's they math. go through they go through the whole idol. Stay in school. <laughs> they go through the whole immunity challenge. It was really intense because Beauty won it easily. They were oh, around yeah. the gate. Uh, the, the dream team. Uh, also, that last puzzle. They've used it before, but that looks so hard, but so much fun. Uh oh! I do want to point out, Caleb. Uh, you know he had he he was one of the people that actually was moving the ball up. Gokums, do you remember from Big Brother? A <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? A very infamous oh my episode. God. That happened during Big Brother. It was during one. I, I don't know if anyone who would watch this watches Big Brother too. I but what you're talking about. there is a challenge at which that it was NFL themed and it was a ba- battle of the block <sighs> challenge. Caleb refused to do the challenge because the guy that he was doing with Frankie, he lost all trust in. So he sat out of that challenge and Frankie ended up winning it because it was very easy to do it with one person instead of two. Caleb got his, uh, I guess you could say he was able to redeem himself in this sense of being able to participate (laughs) as one person doing that ball challenge. Thought that was just a... That was incredible. (laughs) I just blow your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I totally had forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, it was. It, I I love I love I loved it that someone pointed it out because I completely forgot about it too. And I was just like, oh my god, oh, holy shit, that's great, that's awesome. awesome. But yeah, it was a great challenge. That 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 ending challenge was uh, the, this immunity challenge uh, because of the fact it was Debbie versus Cindy. And it was really came down. It came down to the very last ball, and they were trying to move the ball into the hole. It was back and forth, and back and forth. The camera angles, the intense music, and all that. And Sydney pulls through, and the brain tribe is last. So uh, I think the I think the comfort went to the beauty tribe. Yeah, the, beauty tribe took comfort. Ron's got personal items. I think specifically Jason got a leprechaun teddy bear. Uh, <laughs> and the brains was Audi, which means that both me and Go Cubs get two points for that. Yep. Uh, so the, I'll go over the total point breakdown at the end. Absolutely. That's my thing. All right, whatever, man. Just thought I'd chip in there. Um, but, yeah, really it was a great challenge. That was a lot of fun to watch and beauty for the first time does not have to go to tribal and they basically uh i'm sorry yes broad and they saved themselves from being one of the worst tribes in (laughs) super bowl uh, super bowl oh my god super (laughs) bowl survivor history super bowl (laughs) said yes it's the super bowl super bowl cow wrong um (laughs) oh my god i'm i got the nfl is over dude i know i got four hours of sleep good Please leave me alone. All right. <laughs> Anyways, Survivor. It's we're talking about Survivor. Ah. Okay. Anyways, welcome back. So back again. <laughs> that was a commercial break, I guess. No, it was not. Yes, it was a commercial <laughs> for anxiety. Back at camp, uh, Elizabeth is so psyched that they lost because that's so that's a good feeling, right? Yep. Uh, so that way they could get rid of Neil. Neil, that's his name. Neil. Wait, Neil, not Nick. Not yeah, it's Nick. Neil. Because like, I, I thought it was weird. Like, wait a minute. There's two. There's two Nicks in the season. So nope. it's Neil. Neil. Okay. So apparently. Yeah, I didn't think his name was. Nick. Nick. Yeah, I. I don't know why I, I thought that. I, I earlier I read that as Neil too when when he was talking about it earlier. Mm. 
I don't know. All right, anyways. Why are you so dumb? I can you leave me alone, man? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go to bed at two. Wake up at six thirty. It's not fun. Anyways, uh, apparently Neil is the target because he'll be a schemer later come in the game. Mountain when it comes. So, I don't. I don't get like this. Like, oh, we're gonna get rid of Neil because he will be uh, a threat later on. I mean. I, I, to me, that makes no sense unless he's a physical threat, which he doesn't really seem it's, to be. It's preemptive. Like it's pre, it's like predicting that he's gonna be a mental, like, like, mental breakdown. M- mental. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I cannot speak right now. <laughs> You're having one of those. <laughs> I'm having one of these moments right now. Um, so they, they're they're going to tell Debbie and Joe to vote for Neil. While her and Peter were actually going to vote for Aubrey, so that that's just just in case of there potentially being a uh, idol played, yeah, uh, because they believe Neil's very smart and that he has an idol. Uh, Debbie tells Liz that it's a done deal, even though she has no plans on working with her. So <laughs> P- Peter and Liz tell Neil that they should go for Joe. However, Neil knows very well what's up. Aubrey wants. Aubrey would rather get rid of Peter because she thinks he's a bully, uh, because of like him coming up to her and being like, "Yeah, this is the plan. You gotta follow the plan." Plan. I guess yeah, it came across as strong. Uh, so then, not not a tribal fire equals life because that is the first time that they're getting fire. Um, and so then Peter admits that for the two being close with Liz, Aubrey, and. Aubrey and Neil, um, which I, I don't know why he listed the other two, but he, he feels that he felt like that was the case. Aubrey says that the comments and silences need to f- need to be focused on uh, if it, it is it all numbers essentially. Uh, Peter claims to be an expert in social interaction, and Liz believes that everyone should feel a little paranoia. Uh, and Joe is suspicious of everyone due to just how he lived his life, uh, his career in uh, the being a was he a PI or just a police? Uh, he was PI and I think FBI. Ah, okay. Um, so then Peter judges books by by their cover. He says that he could trust Joe because he was a cop. Pro, uh, Probus reminds him that the last time they did in Brain vs. Beauty vs. Brom, Tony, a cop, lied his face off. Yep. So, uh, Peter says a plan is in place. Neil wonders which plan he's talking about, and Neil says it isn't Neil's plan. Uh, and I think he makes a comment at that point about his ice cream pants, which, Neil, good job. Ice cream this. pants. <laughs> and Liz thinks that the person who goes home won't be completely shocked, because they're all super smart. Yeah. And so... Now, voting time begins. Liz votes for Aubrey, and that's the only vote that is shown. Probes tallies and returns. We get two votes immediately out of the gate for Aubrey. Two votes for Peter. One vote for Liz. And the final vote is for Liz. A tie! So we go. No fucking way, dude. So that's that's the second tie in three weeks. So it's going to come down to Aubrey. That's Peter, like 66%. That's 66% ties. Man, that's great. Um... But Ty was not involved in any of the ties. God. 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 All right. <laughs> Anyways. Voting time part two. Uh, no votes are shown. You sounded so distressed <laughs> after I said that. It's just it's too much, man. Uh, the, so now we get the second second voting uh, session. And Probes tallies and returns yet again. And we get one vote for Liz, and that will do it, essentially. The next vote is for Liz. Liz is eliminated from Survive a Cow Wrong. What do you think, Goat Cubs? I, don't know. I think that Peter is fucked in the long run. Maybe. Maybe. Although, I did say uh, to you earlier that I was expecting a tribe switch in the next episode. Right. Or in two episodes, or no? What I said was a tribe switch before Peter's tribe would have to go to tribal again. 
fair enough. That uh, yeah, I, I, that could very well be the case. I think it would be very interesting to see what would happen if he was in a different tribe, if he could gain his reputation back. Because, let's face it, I don't know if he'll really be able to gain any trust from people unless it's with being on a tribe without any brains on it, because everyone's pretty much has caught on to what he does um, in terms of what he said and what he actually did. So, who knows for sure what will happen, but he is without his partner in crime, Liz. So, Liz is out. Um, and now, assuming... I mean, if they do a tribe swap, it will most likely... I mean, I don't know. I would think it would remain three tribes. So, we're we're just going to go ahead... God. <coughs> I came up... Like, I, I had to sneeze and I coughed and said. I have no idea what that was. I'm having, I've like, done it before. I'm having, like, a breakdown. <laughs> like, physically, mentally. You need to go to fucking sleep, dude. I know. I know. Anyways... Uh, let's, let's do predictions. Let's do, uh, let's, let's do the order of the tribes first, uh, in the way that they are going to win and lose. Go Cubs, you can begin with that. All right. Uh, so I think the beauty is without a doubt the best tribe this season. However, I don't know if they're going to do it three weeks in a row. So I'm going to say the brain is going to win. Uh, but Beauty will still get second, and so Braun will be sent to Tribal. Yes, and I agree that Braun will actually go to Tribal uh, in this sense, but I think the Beauty, the Dream Team, will continue their streak. Uh, it will go four weeks in a row being the number one team, and the Brains will come in a nice second place. And that is my order. And now let's decide who we think is going to be going. You can... Begin. I'm taking Chris's pick and saying Alicia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I mean that's the that's the obvious pick. She's she's pretty on the bottom. <laughs> yes, that wasn't uh, a pun. I, I, the reason why is I pulled up a picture of Alisa and I thought like you said pretty, and she does have a very pretty pick. So that's why I thought it was a pun. So uh, that's I'm tired. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> have I talked about that? God already? damn it, Chris. Uh, so, the, my choice uh, for the person being eliminated is Scott. And that would be the shock. I would, This is really something I'm pulling out of the air. Because that, be, that would mean that Sydney would flip. And possibly even Jason would flip. And then probably having to go to a rock. A draw, drawing rocks. And then him having to draw the black rock. So... Yeah. But it's really it's going to be a shock if Scott if the if the Braun loses, and Scott is the one uh, that goes home. But Quick question. I'm pulling it out of nowhere. Yes. So, if there's a tie, let's say that the Brawns do go to tribal, and for some reason or another, uh, like some miscommunication happens, and. Uh, each person ends up voting for another person, like they're, the votes are split four ways. Mm. What hap What happens? That's very interesting. That's never gonna fucking happen. That's never gonna happen, but man. I mean, if they keep on doing seasons like this, where it's only six people per tribe at the start out, there it can get more and more likely that it could, that could happen. Well, yeah. But, uh, but it, it has never happened before. If it does happen... They probably would just revote. They would revote. Because you can't do the thing like, oh, people who tie don't get to vote. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> That's the one. Wait. Wait. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Um, we fucked up. I wonder if they would just jump right into dry rocks. Because then... I, like... I, think, I think they would do one more regular. To see if anyone would just want to change their mind. Yeah, and then they draw rocks. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, that's going to be that. Uh, so next week, there could Cur potentially by, be... By the way, current point breakdown. Uh, Chris earned two points this week, which put puts him up to four. I also earned two points this week, which puts me up to three, so Chris is still in the lead. Barely. Uh, let's see. W w Anything specific that we want to bring up in terms of like next week or this week? If there's anything that we want to specifically discuss, nope, nothing really. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, if you had the chance, go see Zootopia. It's currently the highest rated movie of 2016. <laughs> it's really, it's one of the highest rated movies ever. I know. And, I really want to fucking go see it. Yeah, right. To me, it was just like 100%. I was just like, what the fuck? I think yeah. it went down a little bit, but I No, think... yeah, because one, one guy reviewed it. So, so like, the, the, kind of the way that works is that, like, uh, there, it's very rare for movies on Rotten Tomatoes to have 100%. Because people will see they have 100%, write a bad review about it, so people will visit their website to see why they gave it a bad review. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but considered one of the best movies, maybe ever, who knows, we'll have to, we all have to go see I'm, it. I'm going to see it in a couple weeks when I go home. Survivor Podcast, sponsored by Zootopia. It's not, it's not. If Zoot- and... Disney, if you want Zootopia to sponsor us, go ahead. Yeah, right. But we're not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it, I just think of a uh, the game grips. Okay, oh, Car, Car, Carvel, if you want to sponsor us, wait no, Baskin Robbins. If you still want to suck her <laughs> dick, you can. Carvel, <laughs> I love it. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode, uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>